Hey guys, this is Muggy McGee and we are back with my Leicester City Football Manager 2016 career mode. I think this is the seventh episode and we do actually have two important games. We've got Everton in the Premier League and Aston Villa in the Cup. Um, and then look, after that we've got Arsenal, then Dortmund. So this, the eighth episode is going to be very, very hard to get two wins there. But this episode we have Everton, then Villa in the Cup. Hopefully we can um, get the win. We've got... Everton first on the Saturday at home and then Aston Villa on the Wednesday I think yeah Wednesday and then we've got Arsenal on the Saturday so three games in the space of one week is quite quite a lot for these players but uh, I'll change it around slightly um, I don't think I'll have to make too many too many changes hopefully anyway and we, we do need a win what position are we actually I've not seen for so long we are Second in the Champions League and sixth in the Premier League, winning three games and losing two, so not too bad. Uh, I want mine finished sixth, but uh, I think that's probably a bit high. And oh my god, they want us to drop quite a few players actually. Here you can see um, this is going to be pretty hard. We'll go 4 4 2 against Everton, maybe against Villa. We can like. Um, play a few youth players I'm gonna start Riyadh because he's probably gonna moan if I don't but um yeah against Villa I'll probably change it a little bit more but it's the starting lineup it's basically the same as every week apart from Gray is actually starting and Riyadh he's came back into the side he's, he's pushed further up you can see he's in that winger position but hopefully he'll be pretty pretty good in that position against Everton maybe with the crosses and stuff like that Hopefully he can get maybe an assist or a goal. That would be very, very nice. And it's taken ages here. I didn't even see what position Everton are, actually. I don't think they're above us. That looks like Everton there, 12th plate. Mate, I'm just great at guessing. So, yeah, they're 12th. Uh, where Man City are first. And they're playing Palace away, who are 18th. So they'll probably get a win. We did obviously lose to Man City last game did we lose I'm, I'm an idiot i can't even remember if we lost let me have a look yeah we lost 2-0 all right but we did beat psv in the champions league which is very very good very important to get your first win in your champions league especially because we're less and we're probably not going to be in it again we'll put the sound on but yeah we're probably not going to be in the champions league again in real life or on here so it's good to good to see we've got a first win and we've hit the bar and scored slomani He's already got five goals. Why is he so good on here? He's probably got five goals in total the whole of the season. Jamie Vardy puts the cross in. I was so shocked. Slomani hits the bar from a header and gets a rebound. I was in mid-speaking and Slomani has just put us 1-0 ahead against Everton and our first highlight mate, Slomani. He's on, he's on form at the moment. Vardy with a nice assist as well. Slomani's just on point. He's doing sick so far. Simpson clears it though to Jamie Vardy. Good play, Riyad. Is it 2-0? It is Slavani again. Drink water with the assist. Everton were caught napping, mate. That counter-attack, that is what Leicester do most weeks. Vardy to Riyad to drink water, I think it was, yeah, and drink water with the nice through ball. Slavani pockets it bottom corner. Mate, 2-0 up in 36 minutes against Everton at home. Very, very good play so far. They've, they've even had more shots than us, but we have been prolific, very, very prolific. Amati's got the ball here. Oh, and it was almost 3 now. Stettlenberg makes a, a nice save there. We've got a corner, though. That was a terrible corner, Riyad. What are you doing, mate? But you still got it. Kulabali. Was that Amati? I thought he just scored an absolute banger there, but he's put it over the bar. Fuchs. Oh, shit. We gave the ball away. They better not score. Good defend from Wes Morgan. And we've got it under control, mate. So far, so good. This has been very good. Our pass is a bit sloppy here, but hopefully the whistle will go before we score. We've just been sweaty gold. We have just been sweaty gold, eh? I don't think Romelu would sweat it in real life, eh? We have just been sweaty gold. Oh my God, Kulabali actually slide tackled him. That is FIFA logic. You make a slide tackle straight to their player, and Kulabali's actually been booked, but. 2-1 up against half at half time. 
Slomani with two goals, Vardy and Drinkwater with an assist. Um, I don't mind how they're playing so far. Everyone's on decent half-time rating. Slomani's on the 8.7, so he's playing very, very well. But I won't change it too much and maybe drop Riyad to a deeper run. I don't know why he can't play there on this game when he plays there week in, week out for Leicester. Why can't he play right mid? It, it doesn't really make sense. But Simpson's got the ball here to Riyad. Back to Simpson. Come on, look at this build-up play. Oh, he scored! slomani has got his hat-trick! Oh, he's hit the bar! Oh my god, I didn't think that was going in. Slomani with the banging hat-trick. Off his head, he's hit the bar twice, but both times they've gone in. Oh my god, hit the bar, then the post. Slomani, you are lucky, mate. 3-0, his heading of 19 is just, is keeping us up in the table. Hat-trick hero for Slomani over here, mate. He is on form at the moment. He better not get injured. He better not get injured because I don't think Shinji can recreate this form. And Everton have just scored a banger from Ross Barkley. 3-2. This is this is turning into a pretty pretty good game. I might make subs mid 70th minute. Vardy's got it. slomani has got it. Riyad's got it. Good play. We've hit the we've hit the post again, and that was off Slomani. Oh my God! What is his form? Oh. I thought we'd just hit the bar again. What the hell is going on, lads? This is mad. We're going to go to counter. And I'm actually going to make subs. We, we want this 3-2 win. And, oh my god, Slomani could have had four goals. That's mental. Right, we'll bring on O'Brighton for Dimi Gray. We'll bring on Joa for Vardy, just so he doesn't really moan, perhaps, too much. And he's a target man. What's Joa's head in, actually? Is this pretty, pretty high if it wants to load? His heading is... Where even is heading? 17. So that's still pretty, pretty high. Why is this taking so long to do anything? Um, and we'll bring Andy King on for drink water. Just to shore up that midfield a little bit. There you go. So King, Joa, and O'Brighton have came on. We've got 17 minutes to hopefully hold on to this lead against Everton as they go on the counter attack. Good defender from Fuchs there. And go on. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, Kasper Schmeichel with the saves there. He was on point against West Ham on the weekend and makes a great save there. Go on, win that. Just knock it on. Oh, we're going defensive. We can't. We don't want this lead to slip. We don't want this lead to slip. No. Oh my god. Wes Morgan. What is your defending? What is your defending, Wes Morgan? Seriously, for fuck's sake. Go side of him. Just let him run off. Seriously, what the hell was that? And we've actually let a lead slip it. No, if they score again, I'm going to shoot myself. They go. No first minute. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Or can we counter? No. Yes, yes, yes. We can counter. We can counter. No, can't. Three all. Very, very entertaining game. Slimani getting a hat trick. Having 18 shots, we have. They are 20. So that is a. Three times they came back from behind, which is a bit disappointing that we couldn't hold on to the lead. Wes Morgan was just caught in no man's land for that last goal, but I'll take a, a point against Everton. A very, very good goal, and Slomani getting his hat-trick. Very, very good. That That's mad that he's just got a hat-trick almost all of heading. And he almost got four. He hit the bar as well, but we do have Aston Villa in the Capital One Cup. We'll make a lot of changes. Shinji and... Joao can start, Dimi Gray, maybe Ben Lawan, players like that. Give them, give them a go because otherwise they'll probably moan that we've not played them at all. So it's a cup game against Aston Villa who are in the championship now. So hopefully, I'm praying, hopefully we can win. I'm not too sure about that, but we should be able to win. All right. Um... Who did yet yeah, Slomani? Obviously, it would be Slomani in the team in a week, which is always nice to see. If he didn't get in that, then um, I don't know what the hell would have gone on. But a cup game here, we're gonna make quite a few changes. Andy King, 
Andy King and Sven Bender. I better not. I better not lose now. But box to box support. Actually, I start Shinji and Slimani because Slimani still on on form at the moment. Uh, we do have Mendy actually, but now nah, mate, Robert Hoof can start instead of Wes Morgan. He's not really had a had a chance to play this season, and Wes Morgan's not played the best recently. So maybe maybe he can get a go sometime. But I'm going to keep it like that. So Hoofs came in, Benders came in, Kings came in, and Okazaki's came in. It's still Aston Villa. It's not like a a League 2 opponent, so um, I'll probably say that this should be an alright team to beat Aston Villa in the cup competition. We want to stay in that if we can, but obviously it's the luck of the draw most of the time. Like If we get Man U next round, then we'll probably have lost, but Aston Villa here. Hopefully we can get a win. They've got a Bon Horse still plays, really. When he did play, he did absolutely nothing, but here we go, Andy King started for like his first game of the season and a few of us. So this should be an entertaining game. Richard Delat is actually on the ball who used to play for Leicester City. And he's got an assist, but God it was offside. Oh my god. Foots has just hit the post from a free kick. Further out than what it was before. That was like 35 yards and he's just hit the post. What the hell? That would have been insane again. From foot, but Bender's got the ball. Dimmy Gray, Dimmy Gray cuts inside, and oh, he went for that far, far corner there, and he almost, almost found it. So far, we're ahead of Villa, but they do have a. Oh, it would be Richie Delat, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. It would be the right back. He scores against his former club from a corner. For fuck's sake, whoever that was from post, what are you doing with your life? Just leave the club. Oh, we're losing to Aston Villa. They've had three shots, we've had like five or something, so we should be winning and we've actually hit the post as well, so it's a bit annoying. Kulabali smacked it against their defender. Their attacker, no, no, you're not getting another assist. Shoot me. What the fuck is this? What the hell is that? Seriously, what what is that defending? That's ridiculous, for God's sake. That's actually ridiculous. Stupid defending. Do you not know how to defend against Aston Villa, for God's sake? That's ridiculous. Vardy's going to be coming on. God fucking no. I'm not happy with this. Absolute fucking shit. What? Just what do we do? Drink water, you're coming on. Absolutely appalling. We're losing 3-0 to Aston, Aston Villa. Everyone is... There you go, my three subs. Okazaki, you've not even had a chance to do it, but... Sorry, mate. There you go, so we have now got basically our starting lineup. Absolutely appalling from us. For f I'm so annoyed. I'm trying not to swear, but we are losing 3-0 to Aston Villa. They've had three light attacks and three goals. This is stupid. What the... F what the hell is going on? No. It's Aston Villa for God's sake. I'm not playing Man U. I'm not playing Man City. I'm not playing Liverpool. Stop playing like them for fuck's sake and defend. What is my defending? I'm on control. Obviously you can't control anything for God's sake. Is that one? Nope. Vardis it's on netting. That's nice to see. Can we get one for half time? We've been absolutely slapped up and I deserve to be sacked. Seriously, absolutely shocking. I've already I made all my subs in 20 minutes and we still proceed. We need to go attacking now to actually get something back from the game. Thank you, Fuchs. You've actually done something. Please score. No. Come on. Please. Oh, you gave it away, Robert Hoof. What are you doing? If they get five, I'm quitting. How is this game realistic? We're losing 5-0 to Aston Villa with Kulabali, Fuchs, Simpson, Casper in gold. How are we losing 5-0? We've got Drinkwater and Amati. We've just, we just threw to Everton and now we're losing to Aston, Aston Villa. Really? Um, FM, you're not realistic whatsoever. 
Seriously, what is going on? At all. No. 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 If we go 6-0 down, I'm actually quitting this series. This series just... What the hell is going on? I can't get the blame. I've got my starting 11 on from what we just drew to Aston Villa. But now... But we just drew to Everton. Now Aston Villa are playing like bloody Real Madrid or someone. Seriously, what... What is going on? Please get one back. How does he save that? How does Brad Guzan save that? Okay. Looks like we're out of the cup, lads. Looks like we're out of the cup because of this insane performance from our defenders. Incredible defending. Absolutely incredible. Madness. Absolute. If we played Real Madrid on this, I seriously don't think we'd lose 5-0. But starting Robert Oof instead of Wes Morgan is really fucked up because he's terrible. Absolutely terrible. No. No, no, 83rd minute. It better not be six. That's all I can say. It better not be bloody six. Or we, we're just... What is going on? 22 shots. We've had 15. How have we not scored a goal? No, I'm resigning. 5-0 to Aston Villa. I'm resigning. 5-0 to Aston Villa. Robert Hoof, you're never playing for this club again. 5-0. 5-0 and a bottle hall gets a hat trick. Oh, I'm ashamed. I'm actually ashamed. And yeah, I did rage that because... No, Robert Oof, you can stay injured. You're appalling. You're never playing again. I'm glad you're injured. Literally. That is the team that played against Aston Villa. Andy King, you've been at the club for years and it didn't help. Bender, I signed you on a free transfer. What did you do? I'm fucking great. What did you do? Okazaki, what did you didn't even get a chance because the ball didn't get clear past the halfway line, but Fuchs and Simpson and Casper decided to have the worst game of their life against Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Okay, so I'm gonna end this episode here. Sorry for that rage, but you can understand my frustration. How do we draw to Everton and play very, very well? Slimani playing incredibly, and then he'd be on the pitch against Aston Villa for the full 90 minutes and just do absolutely nothing absolutely nothing but thank you guys for watching sorry about the rage please like comment and subscribe if you want to see more of this football manager career mode i'm debating if i should continue with it so don't forget to smash that like button if you want to see more of it thank you guys for watching and see ya